a lot of the newspapers in the UK would make you think that refugees are flooding into our country, that we don't have any room, that we don't have enough money, that this is a big problem. Whereas statistics will tell you a different story. Usually in maths lessons we talk about know, trigonometry and whatnot, but over here we're actually looking at real life situations and drawing them out to understand what actually is happening around the world. I'm Emily from Positive Negatives and we create comics and stories with academics who research humanitarian issues. I am an artist and also a storyteller. I draw comics. Positive Negatives call people like me, like artists or animators in and they say, okay, we want people to understand these stories. And I come in and I say, okay, how am I going to turn this into a really pretty picture or something someone might want to watch on the internet to bring those stories to a greater audience? Okay, now, have you got some pen and paper? As head of maths here at Oakland, it's really important to me that maths isn't done in the abstract and that students can actually see how the things we teach them do link to life. If you start looking at this data, you can start pulling out some really interesting facts and some interesting stories. Think creatively, guys. How are you going to turn your graph into a picture? Oh, good. It's really lovely to give them quite an open-ended task that allow them creativity and help to develop their thinking skills. I want you to think about who am I talking to. I want you to think about what is your message. You know when you graduate from university? Yeah. Instead of celebrating the graduation, they could be running away due to the fact that they're being forced to leave their country. So we can maybe go along those lines. I find it interesting because I'm an art student myself, so it combines the two and I, it can make math interesting. In hearing these stories and reading out about people, the empathy that I saw in the students was huge. You could see that they felt really moved by some of these people's stories. Information is like commonly portrayed in, inaccurately. You can show how like disillusioned the people are. Through critically engaging with the data, students went down totally different avenues in terms of the, the things that mattered to them. And the other fascinating thing for me about this project is that, I, I mean, I did a test run of it, so I took the data, I interrogated the data, and I, I learned things through that. And it was really interesting for me as a teacher to see how using your maths, you could actually learn things about a situation.